coming up on today's episode of Airborne Uncrewed. Airbus Zephyr falls short of endurance record. Bristow Group orders 55 Alia 250 Evital aircraft. And DJI unveils the compact high-speed Avada. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Uncrewed program, a weekly news program covering all things uncrewed in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Uncrewed Vehicle Systems International. Let's get into today's stories. Airbus Zephyr falls short of endurance record. Airbus's Zephyr 8 UAV, a high-flying critter borne aloft for months on end by vast wings and solar-powered batteries, has a wingspan of 82 feet, weighs a scant 165 pounds, and spent the summer of 2022, most of it anyway, soaring over the American Southwest. Regrettably, the Zephyr 8 summertime sojourn came to an unexpected and tragic end on August 19th when, for reasons passing understanding, it fell from the Arizona sky just hours short of breaking the 64-day, 22-hour, 19-minute, 5-second continuous flight record set in 1959 by two lunatics in a Cessna 172 Skyhawk. By way of explanation, Airbus representatives stated only, quote, following 64 days of stratospheric flight and the completion of numerous mission objectives, Zephyr experienced circumstances that ended its current flight. No personal injury occurred. Our teams are currently analyzing more than 1,500 hours of stratospheric mission data. The valuable experience from this prototype's ultra-long endurance flight has proved to be a positive step toward the Army's high-altitude platform goals, end quote. Flight data from the dearly departed Zephyr 8's ADSB exchange shows the aircraft call sign Zulu 82 completing a serpentine maneuver, then entering a rapid near vertical descent of 4,544 feet per minute before impacting the desert floor. And after the break, ASTM Vertiport and Vertistop standards unveiled. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. In the next Uncrewed Minute, let's take a look at some shorter stories making the rounds of the Uncrewed Vehicle Communities. ASTM Vertiport Vertistop Standards Unveiled A new ASTM International Standard for Civil Vertiport Design has been published, the result of a five-year effort by their Unmanned Aircraft Systems Committee to provide industry guidance on what will likely become a common fixture all over the world. As electric and alternative fuel vertical takeoff aircraft progress to certification, infrastructure tailor-made to their inherent advantages will be required to fully leverage their capability. The lower sound signature, short takeoff capability, and diminished operating range compared to traditional air taxis result in structural differences from the usual small general aviation airport. MQ-8 Fire Scout Demonstration Successful the Navy's shiny new MQ-8C Fire Scout had the chance to strut its stuff at this year's exercise, flying a total of 23 hours and providing some real-life demonstration of the uncrewed helicopter's capabilities. The test took place off the coast of California, where Helicopter Sea Combat Squadron 23 remotely directed the MQ-8 through a handoff to an alternate control point offshore. The unit launched their MQ-8 from Point Magoo before navigating it over water to fall under the direction of the portable mission control station on San Clemente Island. 25th SpaceX Dragonflight completed as capsule splashes down. 
New experiments have been keeping the crew of Expedition 67 busy, with studies on cardiology, wound healing, and health and microgravity taking place after the recent departure of the station's 34-day guest, the SpaceX Dragon. The Dragon completed its uncrewed cargo mission on August 20th, splashing down north of the coast off Florida's Cape Canaveral. The milestone mission marked the 25th contracted cargo resupply mission to the ISS, bringing more than two tons of experiments and cargo back to Earth. New Shepard's 23rd Flight Imminent on August 31, 2022, New Shepard will undertake its 23rd mission, this one unmanned, the cargo manifest of which includes 36 payloads from academia, research institutions, and students across the globe. The mission, intuitively dubbed NS-23, brings the total number of commercial payloads flown on New Shepard to more than 150. Two NS-23 payloads will fly on the exterior of the launch vehicle's booster for ambient exposure to the space environment. Another 18 payloads are funded by NASA, primarily by the organization's Flight Opportunities Program. Well, that was our Uncrewed Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Bristow Group orders 55 Alia 250 EVTOL aircraft. The Bristow Group has gone in on Beta Technologies Alia 250 electronic VTOL aircraft with an order covering up to 55 of the aircraft. The vertical flight specialist seems confident in the new technology, placing an order for five initial aircraft with the option to procure 50 more. Bristow Group currently operates a range of vertical flight services for its clients, primarily offshore oil and gas transportation, SAR, and transport throughout the Commonwealth and countries worldwide. The addition of the Alia 250 begins the inevitable transition to next-generation aircraft, a shift away from the purely traditional helicopter fleet as the company looks ahead for future demand. The Alia, as ordered, sports a 250 nautical mile range, a 1,400 pound payload, and seating for six within its carbon fiber fuselage. Its distributed direct electric propulsion system has four horizontally mounted rotors to provide lift to carry its 50 foot wingspan. The Alia will likely join the Bristow Group's stables, just like any other conventionally powered helicopter put into use to transport clients to and from their stations offshore. Alia's battery performance is one of the system's biggest draws, being capable of a full recharge in under one hour. And after these messages, DJI unveils the compact high-speed Avada. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. DJI unveils the compact high-speed Avada. DJI has unveiled their newest drone, breaking the mold with a compact, sharp little unit geared toward agile, quick recording wherever necessary. The Avada breaks from the usual convention among drones, opting to enclose all four electric rotors within an arrangement of rings directly underneath the fuselage. That small size makes it a perfect fit for cramped, high-speed flights. DJI placed a considerable focus on first-person view flight, providing Avada pilots with super high-res OLED goggles and a handheld motion controller. That design is meant to make the Avada feel like an extension of the body, aping the control setup common to virtual reality games to create a new level of immersion in the UAV market. The Avada, however, fleshes out the goggle concept to DJI's best yet. Two 1080p micro OLED screens with the 100Hz refresh rate allow for smooth, lifelike motion with a range of locking diopter adjustments to accommodate a range of pilot shapes. The goggles are good for two hours of flight between chargings with high-speed recharging in between sessions, bringing things right back online. 
The simple single-hand controller allows intuitive motion control with few buttons to get in the way. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.